I'd like to ask uh, both of you what you think about About, there's a there's been a relatively recent court case about the Pledge of Allegiance in which um, uh, the plaintiff was was arguing that it's it's a semi prayer you know especially the part where it says under God and trying to discourage and trying to make it you know illegal to uh, to force kids or, or encourage kids to to say that during school I wondered what you thought about that well I know the, I know the case very well and I think Mr Newdow who brought it is actually a slight pain in the ass because instead of saying what he should have said, which is that the Pledge of Allegiance was written and promulgated and became popular and well-loved right across America in the 1880s, written by a socialist who was trying to bring America society back together after the Civil War, and was trying to think of a pledge that anyone in the country could recite whatever their background. It went on like that. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation indivisible, with justice, liberty and justice for all. It's beautiful. In the McCarthy years, the time of the toad, as uh, Arthur Miller and Leon, Lillian Hellman used to call it, it was objected by some big mouth at a flag day ceremony. A cleric, where, where Eisenhower was president and, and was also present, said, this pledge could be recited by a child in Moscow, word for word. So how could you make it so it couldn't be? New problem. How could we have a pledge that couldn't be recited in Moscow? Shove in two words where they don't belong, destroy the rhythm of the thing, and, and make it um, religious, put in under God. So what you want to say is, no, I'm for original intent. I'm a strict constructionist. I want the pledge back the way it was. Most people are under the impression that it always had those words in and the atheists are coming to take it out. This is stupid. But of course, it's flat out unconstitutional to ask a child to say under God. You may not do that. First Amendment is beautifully written. There's no wiggle room in it. Congress may make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Thank you.